Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Emma. Today, I'll be reacting to Somali to Mori no Kamisama, episode 7. If I seem to be whispering, it is because people are asleep right now, and I am back in the bathroom because of that reason, exactly. Uh, let's jump into this episode. Uh, I know both of these are coming out on Saturday, but it was the e Saturday, Friday. Can't even get the day right. It's like 12, almost 1 in the morning. Sorry about this. But yeah, we're going to get started with this episode in 3, 2, 1, now. Oh, it was like... Yeah, she cried, you know? It's understandable. What's wrong with that, really? Oh. But, like... How, though? Like... We still don't know any, like, anything about what could cure or at least, you know, postpone issues of for this right now, so. Mm. It, the show likes to bring up that promise a lot, and it's, it's painful, you know? And just accepts it. But yeah, anyways, last week's episode, um, was revolving around how episode five ended with Uzoi you know, saying she was going to kill Somali just, you know, because that was the only option she thought possible in um, being able to save uh, Haitora. And, you know, obviously she was not able to do it. There's hesitance there, and she couldn't find it in herself to actually, you know, do the deed. And, um, you know, that, ca ca that gave... Um, Golem and Hytora had enough time to catch up and notice, you know, a, they're both alive and it seems like while something happened, it wasn't as drastic as they first thought it was going to be. Um, and we learned more about, you know, why Hytora is sick and where it came from and it was disturbing and I really, it came back to me as I was talking about what happened last time, so... Sorry about the awkward, like, throwing of that, but yeah, like, you know, he ate Uzoi's mother's flesh, along with his wife and daughter, who, both of which died. So, kind of dark. Uh, I forget what this title, the episode title for this one was called, but we'll see what happens, you know, as the opening is now over. I, I might act weird, sorry. Heads up. The footsteps that stalk the witches. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe a lot. They're getting along now. That's cute. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Kind of true, yeah. It seems like Uzoi gave in. <laughs> She, yeah, she doesn't know about that exactly. And other stuff. The curiousness that comes from knowing absolutely nothing other than just the very basic stuff, yeah. That would lead to genuine questioning and wanting to know some of these things, especially when it gets brought up around you some, from time to time. Is this, like, on his mind right now? Like, I don't blame him for having this on his mind. It's To the 
bitter end. Mm. Ah, you don't know that, but, mm. Pre Predetermined lifespan. In 301 days? Wow, great. Mm, so it's been that long? Last time it was, like, a year and a hundred and something days? I was only in 301? I think it was just a year. <laughs> Village that collects knowledge from all over the world. So that's where you'd go to maybe find a clue. Hmm. You're plenty helpful, don't worry about it. Yeah, exactly. Driven by exceptional curiosity. Definitely. Have to keep that watchful eye. Mm. To be trivial, so long as they allow Somali to remain in good health. That's adorable and sweet. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Somehow you two met. Mm -hmm. I believe so as well. Oh. Feels lighter. You may not think it, dude, but you have feelings there. Peace of mind. Exactly. The weight of, like, knowing that you most likely won't be able to see her grow, won't be there to protect her and all of that, is weighing heavily on your mind, and you do actually care. It's just you don't know about it much, so it's not something you really express or try to think. Oh, yeah, that's sad. I didn't listen. Well, nice. Hmm. Hmm. We'll meet again someday. I don't blame you. Mm hmm. Hmm. A forest finally out of the desert. Okay. Not positive, but have some lead. He's gonna need that, honestly. Mm. These situations just leave me feeling so... <laughs> Oh.
listening to this OST, <laughs> the track here, it's great. Just like, so, it's definitely something you can lay back and just enjoy. Kind of want to just do that, honestly. Okay. It's like peaceful calming music, but I'm like on edge here. The sights aren't quite beautiful though. We'll admit, halfway. Yeah, halfway pretty much. Okay. I'm always worried, though. Somali, please be careful. Like, I can't have people finding out you're a human. That's just too many negative possibilities that can come from it. Safe for children to drink. Golem, are you going to accept? Okay, they're just here trying to sell their products. Crimson pickles. She wants it all. She got all of it. Okay, then. <laughs> she forgot. Repository of knowledge. Okay. Just Crest Library. Thousand medical tombs alone. Okay. <laughs> she went traveling on her the food, of course. Currently, it seems like that. Yeah. <laughs> There's other things, but yeah, top librarian. Okay. Hello. Let's see, what are you gonna say here? On a journey in search of humans. Yep. Hmm. Biography in the warehouse. It might be advanced for you. Yeah, I don't know exactly how much you can read. to the world itself. Yeah. I feel like I've gotten progressively louder <laughs> as time went by. Sort the books that are collected. Protecting the knowledge, gathering the knowledge. Sure, they would love to hear that. It should be. Is it gone? Did someone take it? Hmm. Was it stolen? Maybe. Is there someone who wants to like read stuff and takes it, or? Yeah. So they would just 
Some stolen is a strong word, most likely. Probably not. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do recall you from the next episode preview. My big sister. Okay, then. Damn. You're the second person very interested here. There we go. Desist. <laughs> okay. I see, I see. Just tossing them around like, eh. Unimportant. Chronicle of Hot Iso. It was blue. Eye on the spine. Did Somali run across it? I would be very careful about it. Is it really it? Yeah, I don't trust that. Fish. Okay. Bird got it. Oh, magic? eating fish. Hmm. I wouldn't doubt that, but maybe we can look into it a little bit more. But okay. Yeah, there's a lot of them here. Oh, okay, yeah, Hazel, let's see what you got. Probably a lawn. Oh, yeah. I straight up was like, she reminds me of someone from a... Uh, uh, Trails of Cold Steel, I think is the name of the game. And then I was like, wait, why am I not remembering her name? Her name's Emma. <laughs> Works over a huge area. Yeah, exactly. Work together and we're unstoppable. Huh? They're gathering together, maybe to make one big, stronger enemy? I think that's what's happening. <laughs> totally. That reminds me of something. What is it reminding me of? But. Subspecies. Hmm. Just eating them whole. Yep. Yeah, I don't think those are going to do much damage. Exactly. Careful. Oh. Oh, it's looking at you, Somali. You have the book. You have the book. Oh, no. It possibly. She, she's not going to. Oh, you have to be careful. That thing goes fast. And even then, what happens if mm, that? Oh, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. It's gone. Oh, gee. You're in care. <laughs> yeah. Gotta pay attention. Oh, no, that shattered your arm, though. No, 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 no. Be careful. Um, 
wings made of bone? Maybe? I don't... Looks like bone. That's what I'm saying, bone. Oh no. I mean Can he? Hmm. Oh. Come on, Somali. I know. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. The record of borrowers. And maybe ask them for the information that was in the book. Okay, I was scared. 304 years ago? Who? Our head librarian? Okay, then. Maybe we can... It's over. Okay, all my ideas were squashed in that moment. Uh, at least until next week. Well then. Um. Okay, I feel like I talked definitely a lot more this episode than I did last episode. Sorry, last episode I was just kind of in a shocked daze. I'm amazed I wasn't like that today with how much I did. Because I'm pretty tired. But, um. Um. Okay, anyways. So. A, Somali, I love you. You're precious. You are to be protected. But you need to be careful. Uh, the curiosity is obviously, like, it, it's, it's understandable why it's starting in, like, the fact that it's there. Wanting to know more about, you know, yourself, considering, you know, she's been told, oh, you must keep it a secret, and when she meets new people, it's like, oh, you're a Minotaur kid, right? And, like, um, just... Not hearing much or seeing many humans. And now the only other human she's met is Haitora, who, you know, is, um, not in the best health because of circumstances. And, um, it's nice hearing Golem acknowledge that, like, there's a feeling. I, I don't expect him to know what the feeling is. It's just nice to hear that, you know, he's, he, he was able to bring it up with someone. That was nice. Next episode. Meeting... And bonds played for. Meeting and bonds played for. I don't know. I read that wrong, but that was very short. But so, like a girl and. Hmm. Okay then. Um. I'm not super positive. It it's. I really enjoyed Haitora in a uh, Zoe. Um. In many ways, like, circumstances may have been different, but, like, their situation currently are in a way parallel to each other, just obviously different um, things that led to it and different variables. Um, sorry. Much like my uh, last video, I'm distracted by, like, all these colors. Uh... I bring it up because it's it's that annoying to me. Uh, but, um... No. So, so Somali, you know, we, we noticed, like, even back in episode two with the Oni, she, you know, she acknowledges that Golem's doing all of this for her, like, going the extra mile to, you know, make sure she's safe. Uh, if she falls sick, have medicine for her, get money for supplies for her, 
Because it's not like he necessarily needs any of that stuff. It's all for her. And she wants to do more stuff. And, you know, I feel like she wants to not always be dependent on him. She loves him and wants to do, you know, as much as she can. And she genuinely feels like, no, I'm going to protect this. This is what we need to learn more stuff. This is, like, to help us towards our goal. And she doesn't know, you know, that he's dying, or as he revealed, that he only has a 301 days left. And, you know, she just wants to be with him forever, pretty much. And it's just sad that, you know, all of these things are happening, and, you know, they're being kind of forced apart be- because, of, because of circumstances. It's, like, so aggravating to me that, you know, the situation is as what it is, but we have to live with this, and, um, Hazel and, um, I don't remember if I, your name, uh, but Hazel and her are interesting. I gotta end this. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. See you guys next time. Have a great day.